أنا ولدت في عائلة كلها تكتب الشعر. She's saying that uh, she was brought up in a very, uh, not only educated uh, house, um, everybody was writing poetry. So she tried it to copy her father writing poetry. And she noticed that she's gifted with that, especially at school. She used to, be, to memorize all the poems at that time. رئيس الأولى بالشعر الفصيح باللغة العربية الفصيحة uh, على ثانويات بغداد. Uh, while she was a teenager in secondary school, she took like um, the best prize for uh, uh, not only to, it's the classical uh, traditional poems, and uh, she was very gifted in that. And uh, in Iraq, she took the prize for all the schools. Uh, my father was the main uh, person who inspired me from a younger age until the secondary stage. After the secondary stage, uh, because of the feeling that I couldn't continue my, uh, she couldn't continue her uh, university to study, uh, she really worked on herself studying, uh, going through more novels, short stories, and she started finding that she finds herself more in writing stories than, uh, than just going through the poems. Uh, she felt she was more creative uh, in that aspect. Okay. Uh, she started writing stories mainly about uh, Iraqi, uh, specifically women in Iraq. Uh, and she wrote about uh, the human, how they uh, were I wouldn't say devastated only, but in uh, Kisar, uh, they were defeated. The, the, the women were really defeated through wars uh, in Iraq. She always felt through her novels to write about, she focused on women, how she is uh, a weak when it comes to war, and uh, all her dreams just and can fall apart. apart. And uh, she really um, wrote about all the obst not obstacles, uh, all the things that the war leaves the people with. So the sorrows and the agony of the war. She, she never thought of the uh, uh, reader because anybody can read the novel. So she never put in mind, uh, for, for her, even the word reader is not on the, in front of her. وعندي قصص ترجمت للإنجليزية وأخرى ترجمت لليوغسلافية. It's a dream for her to have her novel and short stories translated, and uh, she doesn't mind at all if it was in America. Of course, it's a it's a dream for her. And um, already, uh, and your second uh, her second novel is already yes been uh, translated now to the. Um, English and it's in the Italy. Novel Italy be America. A be America. Her second novel will be issued in America. Very soon. Because uh, Hadia has some problems in her eyes, she, so she prefers uh, the morning time. Okay. <laughs> And the, the hidden reason is her husband is sleeping in the morning, so she wakes up very early. <laughs> she doesn't believe nowadays that a book can change the world or even change people sometimes, uh, but not as individuals. We're going to ask her about this maybe later. But um, she said that she would, I mean, it, it will be a great feeling to feel that a change will happen through a book, but it doesn't nowadays, especially because it's very, it's really global uh, nowadays. Uh, she referred to the uh, different uh, timings when a poem can change the world, mm -hmm. when people were really uh, feeling uh, energetic or have an idea just because of a poem. I don't want to give any advices. I'm not. I'm. I'm not in a place to give advices. I would say, uh, 
the only thing I would say, because every person, individual, ha has to live his own or her own experience. Uh, she believes that the only thing she will uh, really insist on that anybody who wants to write has to read a lot. And uh, as she said, reading is a major uh, corner for any writer.